Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial which I'm going to show you how to set your travel sacks and use it with uh, Logic Pro or any DAW that you want to use. Uh, I'm going to use Logic Pro in this case but the steps that you will need to follow to use basic instruments that come along with these DAWs are pretty pretty much the same. So first of all, we will open the Travel Sax app. We are going to connect our Travel Sax. Okay, you can see that I have mine already connected. And I will go to settings. So down here, config. Okay, and then I'm going to press settings. And I want to have the velocity, uh, the MIDI velocity fixed on okay by default is off so you want to have it on okay and you also want to change the breadth channel here from number seven to number two for example okay two or eleven are the main basic ones okay so that's the first thing you want to do second thing you want to go to sounds and you want to mute your travel sack so you don't get the sound, the sound from the, the speaker. So you, you want to move the speaker. So you have this shortcut on top right side of the screen. You press here and you can mute your travel socks. So now I'm blowing and I don't need any, and I'm not hearing anything. Okay. And finally, I'm gonna uh, create here on my logic. I'm gonna create a new uh, instrument, software instrument. Okay, have it in Spanish, but that's the one top on the top left. Create. Okay, and then here I'm just gonna search for saxophone, for example, so I can find the basic building sax sounds. I'm gonna go for the alto sound. Okay, I'm gonna plug in my travel sax to my computer via USB-C cable. Okay, and now I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna uh, blow. You'll see that you're getting um, a signal here. So I'm just gonna erase this one. I don't need this one. I'm just need the alto sax um, one. So you can see that I have the wind controller working. Okay. And now what's happening is that it's like on and off because we have the MIDI velocity fixed. Okay. Great. Okay. If we blow, we get the input. That's good. And then we want to double click here on top of the sax icon and you will get this window. You will see this window up here. And now you, you'll see that when I blow, you can see the volume here is not changing, right? So we want to map this volume. And to do so, we're going to go into the icon, the info icon here. And then we're going to say, we're going to select this one. Okay, you, you see there's like this uh, um, go gl um, glor gloop. So you can see this one is already selected in blue. If not, you can just create. And we're going to say assign external assignment, something like this. This is the translation in, in Spanish. So I'm going to say recordar, so it's remember. And now I'm going to blow. And you can see now that I'm blowing, something is moving here. Okay, that's good. I just press recordar, remember, and that's it. And the good thing now is that I, when I'm blow, I have mapped my CC channel number two that we, we changed in, in the app to this volume. So now, I 
can have now a full control of the volume and my expression is much better. So that's the nice trick that you always want to do if you're not using a professional um, wind um, synthesizer like, um, well, like the Spiro or, or the Swam saxophones that they have already been designed for electronic wind instruments like the, like the travel sax. So if you're going for the standard saxophones the, the building saxophones, you always want to find these um, assigning parameters that you can assign the CC channel, the breath channel that, that we selected on our app on number two to this um, volume. Okay, I hope this works and please feel free to comment in the comment section below if you have any questions so we can help you. Bye.